Um, so today, uh, you know, I'm going to prepare uh, spiced chickpeas for my family. So I would like to share it with you. And um, I'm going to show you each step how I make. And uh, you can do along with me. I don't know how many of you are ready to cook along with me. But uh, I think some of you are ready. So I will go slowly. And I will explain each and everything. Uh, because we do everything from scratch. It takes time. So we can't hurry any process. Uh, I'll do my best to be short. And uh, these are the ingredients. And uh, you would have seen those um, list of ingredients on my Facebook page. Um, the onion, chopped onions. One chopped uh, tomato. And uh, I told you about the garlic. Uh, one inch I'm sorry, ginger, one inch uh, ginger, three cloves of garlic. Uh, these two together, I um, I put it in the uh, blender and make it into a paste like this, garlic ginger paste. And then um, I have some cilantro uh, for uh, garnishing. Then here I have a chili powder, red chili powder. I have a turmeric powder. I have uh, fennel seeds powder and then I have garam masala powder uh, I'll come back to all this uh, you know while I'm cooking I'll explain to you how we make this and um, you know so let's start now and I have uh, the chickpeas tin you know we get tins like this you can use any chickpeas uh, tin uh, organic or anything else you can uh, rinse it and keep it ready and uh, for my friends uh, back in India who's watching this show, uh, you don't have the luxury of uh, getting uh, chickpeas in the tin. So you need to buy the dry chickpeas, soak it over the overnight or, uh, you know, for a few hours. And then in a pressure cooker, you need to cook them and have it ready for this dish. So now I'm going to show you and um, uh, to my stove here, we have to turn on the stove. And this is the pan I'm using to make. And uh, I um, usually, um, I just eyeball everything. Uh, I don't have a particular measurement, but for you, I've taken the time to uh, put, uh, you know, all the um, measurements. So you can follow that. So I just put some sunflower oil. I use this oil. You can use any oil you want. Um, so. So let the oil get heated and uh, so, so when the oil gets heated, it takes some time. So uh, this is, uh, you know, when the oh, oh, oil is hot we put uh, fennel seed powder in the beginning and you should not make the oil very hot when you put this uh, fennel seed powder you know it will burn it will burn so you should uh, see that the oil is not very hot and then uh, we put the garam masala powder So when it is hot, we put the onions inside. As I said, uh, you know, um, this is uh, the four generation uh, cooking skills uh, that I'm showing here. Um, this is how in our house we make. And I have done some uh, version of, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, the American style here because uh, we don't get all the ingredients here. So whatever ingredients I get here, with that, you know, I make an uh, Indian dish. And I make it so simple and easy for you all to, you know, uh, make it 
to follow and also to to find it easy to me so usually when I am um, uh, you know fry onions uh, we have to wait till it becomes uh, trans lucent. translucent and uh, in order to make that translucent uh, we have to add uh, some little bit of salt so the salt helps the onion to you know soften soon so so we have to fry this onion you know till it becomes a light brown so you need a lot of patience for that so meantime i just wanted to still it becomes you know light brown golden brown i just want to mm, uh, tell you how i make a how i make uh, the fennel uh, seed powder i here you know we get this uh, coffee grinder i use this coffee grinder to make all my uh, masalas and powder so here here i have this fennel seeds you can see this is called fennel seeds for the ones who don't know these are the fennel seed it has a nice aroma too so i just put this fennel seeds into it into the coffee uh, blender and then i make powder out of it like this and that's how i make a fennel seed powder i don't buy any store bought ones and then the same thing you know i do with the uh, garam masala i put all uh, all of the spices like um, cardamom you know cinnamon cloves see, cloves then cinnamon and um, i make my own garam masala i put that in this uh, coffee maker and i make powder out of it and that's my garam masala and the store bought garam masala i don't like because they put a lot of uh, spices in it and uh, you know my family doesn't like it so i don't use it um you see you can see now the onions are getting nice nice brown and tender so this is this is how i make my garam masala they say curry powder mixed with everything but we don't do that you know i grind my own masalas so this is the masala simple that i use and this is chili powder uh, you know the the red chilies we get red chilies like this and uh, you know you grind it into a powder but that i don't do it here you know my family whoever comes from india gets me this um, red garam masala or if not we get it uh, in the indian grocery stores here uh, but uh, we always use the homemade one how do you make the ginger garlic paste yeah the ginger garlic paste too i said you know this um this one inch and what i do is that i take a lot of ginger you know remove the skin and then um, grind it in the blender uh, the other blender in which we we can even make juice or something um, i have an indian blender so i uh, grind my uh, ginger garlic paste in it and keep it in the fridge so that i use a lot in my cooking for all non vegetarians uh, vegetarian food you know for all the meat i use garlic ginger to marinate all the meat so that you don't have that uh, meaty smell um, so now the onion is you see you can see how uh, it has changed the color and it is light brown at this time i will add a uh, ginger garlic paste the ginger garlic paste so when you when you add the ginger garlic paste uh, you know it is it will start sticking to the pan but because i am using a non stick pan uh, it's not sticking but uh, if you use any other pan it will start sticking 
So you have to fry it a little bit so that the raw smell of the garlic ginger paste till it is gone, you know. So once the onions are golden brown, you can turn down the heat, right? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you have to add a tomato. So the tomato has to become uh, nice and tender and juicy, which you cook. So in this meantime, what I do is I have to add the turmeric powder. And um, because I do for my, in our house, we have two, three little kids uh, who cannot eat spice. So keeping that in mind, what I do is that I make separate for them. You can see here, I have made already a little bit separate for them. It's the same process like how I did now. But the thing is that I didn't add chili powder in this. So this is for the adults. So I'm adding chili powder. So it depends upon the taste bud. But you know, if you like more spice, you can add more chili powder. If you don't like very hard, you can reduce the chili powder. Or you can skip the chili powder. It all depends upon, you know, how far you can, you know, take the heat, the spice. You see, you can see how this uh, tomato is getting tender and juicy. you can add the chickpeas. chickpeas you have to mix it nicely with the, the masala the spices you know like the onion tomato garlic ginger the garam, garam masala powder the fennel seed powder and then at this stage if you need more salt because we just added salt for the onions for it to fry soon so now we have to add salt and also you have to check uh, with the salt content in the, the chickpeas. If uh, the chickpeas has more salt, then you have to taste and see and accordingly you have to add salt. You don't need to, you know, I don't want you to add more salt in it. So, it all depends upon, you know, how much salt you take, how much spice you take. You see? It's all ready now. Uh, we just now garnish with the cilantro. It's, it's ready now. ready now. I didn't add chili powder here. No. Would you, do you add lemon juice? Oh yeah, I forgot. So 
So now you can turn the heat down and uh, just add a, a one teaspoon of lemon juice. If you don't want, you can skip this, but to be like that taste, so we just add a little bit of lemon juice in it. And then just leave it for a few minutes. So here I would like to show you the, the children's version of it. So in this it has all the spices that I put except chili powder. The kids will love it. Uh, our son as you all know um, that he cannot eat non-veg and uh, for protein I give him this uh, all lentils a lot and the stick piece is one of his favorite and in um, in a, you know just to eat a plain uh, chickpeas uh, this type of flavored without spice you know the kids love it so add cilantro to this too yeah. Children's version, your chickpeas. You like it, right? Yeah. It's hot, blow on it, okay? Addy, you too. And this is the adult version. Shalom, you can try. Oh, God. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Try it at home. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, you know, uh, write it to me. I'll be able to answer it. Uh, please try and it's very healthy and it's done uh, it's you know from scratch i've made it and it i have made it very easy too but uh, you know these ingredients you get uh, in a local market and um, in uh, you know in, in your pantry too you'll be having this so try this and uh, please let me know how it turned out and uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time next tuesday at the same time 10:30. And I'm also going to open a YouTube channel, uh, so please uh, uh, subscribe it once you see it. Thank you. Bye.